If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these little mini Sutter Home bottles into a colorful Sutter Home wine gift set with glitter, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today I am going to be embellishing these Chardonnay Sutter Home mini bottles of wine. These are 187 milliliter bottles. I picked these up from the grocery store. I thought they were just so cute. I usually so have cute. bigger bottles of wine, but I thought these small ones, I could show you how to do a cute little gift set. I'm going to do these different multiple colors. I just thought that would be cute to just have each bottle be a different color. And I am going to be using Mod Podge glue. I'm also going to be using Elmer's glue. So I'll just do two of them with Elmer's, two of them with Mod Podge, just to kind of see um, what the difference is. So I get my um, I get my glitter from PaperMart.com. Um, this color right here is called Jade Blue. This one is called Bright Red. This one is Gold, Holographic Gold, so it has different colors hitting in it. And this one is a dark blue fine holographic glitter. So these are all fine glitters. These are not extra fine. Extra fine are even I have smaller not than this. Issues with them. You will need some type you of sponge. You can pick up this little or, um, brush tool, sponge brush tool from Dollar Tree, Home Depot, um, any arts and crafts store, Walmart. You can get a few of them in a pack. And then I always like to have an extra makeup brush just to dust off any excess glitter. So you want to have some type of paper down. Um, I couldn't find anything, so I'm just gonna use this little cardboard Hello Fresh paper. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I like to have some type of lid to pour my glue in. And I'm gonna just go ahead and start with the Mod Podge. Okay, so I have already wiped off this bottle. I've already wiped this bottle off with alcohol. I don't do any masking. I just kind of make my lines as sharp as possible. And so I don't get on the label. You can feel free to mask off if you want to do that. And I'm just going to start from the bottom and just start covering this up. I poured a nice amount of glue into this lid. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I'm just taking my time and going around the label so I can carefully add the glue. I'll be doing the same process on each bottle. So just go ahead and check out how sturdy I'm trying to be. Pour your glitter on a nice hefty amount so you don't have any spacing. And if you do have any areas that still lack the glitter coverage, you're going to do a second coat anyway, so it'll be just fine. That's really pretty already, and usually I just start at the bottom and work my way up. This bottle is so small compared to the bigger bottles that I do, the bigger wine bottles, so this is gonna be really quick and straight to the point. So you just dust this off, it comes in handy. I love this little brush. And this color is pretty. I like the holographic colors, because as you can see, it's not just blue. If you look closely, you can see blue, you can see a little bit of green, even a little bit of pink in there. It's just you don't so like pretty. all the extra little colors in there. You don't want holographic, just get the regular blue. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. Take your time going around that label. And when you do your set, you don't have to do them four different colors. You don't have to do that. You could do. You could be doing this for a party and may want to make these your um, party favors on the table for your guests to take um, with them. And you can do them the colors of your event. So consider that as well. Or you may just wanna have these sit real cute and pretty on your bar stand or if you have like a nice little bar um, in your basement or, or however, do them whatever color you want to. Just something just cute to have.
that's cute and if you mind the the orange you can either cover that with glitter or if you do mind seeing the area that's orange in the background where it says Chardonnay California and this top you can go with a glitter that's the color because on the display they had so many different colors so many different so, colors so what I'm going to do is let that first coat dry and while that first coat is drying I'm gonna work my way on to the second bottle and just put a little touch-ups but and then of course put this glue this glitter back inside of the bottle of course don't want to waste any product okay so I'm on to my next bottle same process and there's no holographic anything to it it's just straight red but it's very pretty it's deep has really nice full coverage and I like it and then at the end we'll compare all the colors and then you guys can just let me know which one you like the best and then I'll let you know which one I like the best okay so this is the second bottle with the red glitter while I wait for this to dry, we're gonna move over on to the next bottle. Okay, so I said I was gonna use um, my Podge for the first two bottles, and for the other two bottles, I'm going to use the Elmer's glue. Okay, just to give other options. Um, it, I know this was cheaper than my Podge, so maybe if you want a cheaper option, or if you live somewhere where my Podge is not available, some people like to have choices. So, here we go. I already poured some of the clear Elmer's glue onto this little lid here. And I'm just gonna. This gold is very, very pretty. It especially looks nice with the gold accents on the bottle. Okay, so as far as the Elmer's glue, I'm not exactly sure what I bumped or what I did but I don't like how it's not holding up well. So I'm not gonna continue with the Elmer's glue. I'm just not. I don't know what happened right there. Maybe, maybe I bumped it, but I just don't like how easily these are. Cause the other bottle didn't do that. So I don't want this to just not be right. Sometimes you so just I'm just, what you know. So I'm just gonna go over these little blotchy areas. The little Mod Podge and fix those spots that kind of just rubbed themselves off. Maybe my hand bumped it, but it shouldn't have came off down that much to me. Very pretty. 
I especially like it with the, the mustard colored top or the gold colored top. Very pretty. I'm going to let this dry and get to the last bottle and then come back. pretty color so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we'll add a second coat for those blotchy okay areas. so the first bottle is dry enough for a second coat so you're just gonna go ahead and go over all the glitter everywhere you added glitter you want to go over that with the Mod Podge glue and if you're not familiar with Mod Podge it does dry clear so don't worry about it being white Okay, so this is what your bottle will look like once you fully cover it with glue. So you can go ahead and put on that second layer of glue. And then once all of these are dry after the second coat, then they Once all the glue is smoothed on, you are ready for your second coat. Second coats of glitter, glue and glitter to the gold bottle. Fully covered with glue. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pour the glitter right on. Okay, so here are all the bottles after the second coat of glitter has dried. I'm just adding Mod Podge to each bottle to go ahead and seal the glitter in. So that way it doesn't fall off. There are several ways to do this. There are acrylic sprays. I've used those in the past. The finished result. And let me just tell you the problem that I have when I use Mod Podge. I covered everything with Mod Podge because it really does not come off when you use the Mod Podge, but for me, it gives it like a little cloud. It just makes it dull. When I use the sealant sprays, it does keep it nice and shiny, but the glitter falls off like crazy. So I don't know if I'm supposed to put, what, five layers on it until it There's just doesn't come off the Dollar Tree that's supposed to help. So I'll try that as well. So just to kind of get some of these little clouded areas to give it a little more shine, I usually, if you check out my older videos, what I'll do is I'll add the Mod Podge glitter and water. But someone said maybe it's cloudy because you're adding a little bit of water. I feel like water thins out this thick Mod Podge because I have some areas where it's literally almost like a, like an off-white little spot. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's like this little white area and it's on a few of these bottles. If you look at these from a distance, they're really cute. But if you're up close, you'll be like, okay, they look good, but they could look a little better if they were sparklier. Let me know what you guys think. I know they could look sparklier than this. I actually just gave someone a pink bottle I made, a wine bottle. And I was in, in the car and I'm like, there's glitter all over my seats. And sure enough, that's the bottle that I sealed with the Mod Podge sealant acrylic spray. Had I sealed it with Mod Podge, it wouldn't be a lot of fall off. So that's the plus. You don't have all that crazy fall off, but it looks dull. So what I'm gonna do, I have a little bit of warm water here and a sponge brush. I'm just gonna kinda like glaze it over this just a little bit. And I think that should help like thickness. Not too wet, but just a little, just to kind of 
rub in some of that I don't know if it's just the color, but this one is the only one to me that looks really sparkly and has no issues. This one looks fine to me. I just wanna see if this just helps. This, and this is not a lot of water. I'm just trying to thin out some of these little weird blotches where I may have put a little bit too much Mod Podge in certain areas. That's why too, I think it's good to have it dry in front of a fan also. That may help. If it dries too, too slowly, that may cause that dull look. But other than that, they look nice. But to me, the dullest ones are the blue and the gold. Here is the final finished result. And I do think they look very pretty and these will make perfect, very thoughtful gifts for someone. They still look really, really pretty. They do. I just know they could be a lot shinier if I seal them with an acrylic sealant spray, which I've used in the past, but it takes quite a few layers and it has quite a very, very strong toxic smell. So you have to really, really let it air out. But other than that, I think these are really cute. They make nice gift sets. And I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to. If not, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.